Hey y'all, Noons here, Airborne RC. Well guys, it's been a while since I had a video and hopefully you guys are understanding and uh, I appreciate you guys uh, sticking through and not unsubscribing from the channel. Um, it's been a hectic uh, few weeks. Um, been working from home. Uh, kid has no school so I've been watching him. And between working from home and uh, watching the kid, I really, it's time crunch. You know, when Pilot Ryan and all them say it takes time to do these videos, uh, it really does. Uh, so since I've been doing that, I've been working around the house, doing my honey-do lists, and uh, show you guys real quick what I've been doing. Pretty much laid in all this gravel, uh, laid all this concrete right here, and this is going to be a mower's edge going all the way around. This center is going to be grass. Uh, went ahead and graded all this right here, put in the gravel, put in a bush for my wife. Still got to finish painting the shed. She picked out the blue. Uh, she wanted an above ground garden, so built this for her, had to go ahead and get it graded, and now she's got her plants in there, so now she's happy. So I just got a few more days over here, uh, finish up this, putting in the sprinkler system and stuff, and we got our concrete patio here. So yeah guys, I've been pretty busy, uh, but I did get a turbine jet the other day, uh, not the other day, a few weeks ago, and I've been building that. Uh, stay tuned for the unboxing. I will have some build videos with that. Uh, but today, I uh, went flying and I uh, got home today. Nothing better than flying and coming home and having a plane waiting for you. So, hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned for more content. Peace. Get some! Hey everybody, Noons here, Born RC, thanks for coming by. Uh, today, uh, I never had a stole plane. Um, I do have the E-Flight UMX Timber, the really small one. And I see guys at my RC are still flying these little stole airplanes just coming in and landing. So, obviously I needed one. I want to be a little different. So this is the first time I went with the Arrows line. Um, haven't opened it up yet. Uh, wingspan on this bad boy is 1.8 meters, 1800 millimeters, about 1200 meters long. It comes with a 3541 KV750 uh, motor, runs on four cell. Uh, they suggest a 2200 to 2600 uh, battery. It comes with a uh, 13 inch 7.5 pitch tube blade. Uh, center of gravity is 80 to 90 millimeters on this. And uh, this should, I've seen, and I'm pretty sure you guys seen the unboxings, the wings this long, and I can't wait to see this plane right here. I'm gonna be running this guy on a Spectrum AR637T, uh, one of the new smart receivers I have laying around. So, um, what do you say guys, let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Went out flying today, and uh, this was waiting for me. One good thing about the coronavirus, if there is anything, you don't have to be home to sign for your boxes. And I live in a pretty good neighborhood, so I really don't have to worry about people trying to take my stuff and everything. Go ahead and put this down. Oh, what was that? Oh, what's that over there? Not yet, guys. You guys gotta wait for that. Let's go ahead and concentrate on this, alright? Alright. Stole. Short takeoff and landing. Can't wait to mess with this thing. Alright. So when you get it, that's how it comes. Right there. The wing's right up on top. So one wing at a time. All right. So the white guys is actual foam. It's not painted. The red is uh, navigation lights on the side. That's nice. Also right here in the front, the brace is already put on with all the servos right here. It's basically okay. This just basically slides right here in these two slots. It attaches on the plane. All right, well, I got a trailer. It's not 
100% up and running. So I could take this in one piece, but you can take it apart. So if you're one of those people that don't like putting your planes together when you get to the field, you just like go flying, and you don't have the room, this might not be the one for you. But I like my planes uh, to have a nice big presence in the air. Reason why I went with this than the U um, the E Flight Timbers. Those things are great. I've seen people fly those things amazing. They just wanted something a little different and a little bigger. It's got preformed ribs up on the top to mimic the sheathing on the real ones. That's real good. Oh. It's got the flaps, guys. So from here to here. Hold that for you. That's the aileron. That's the flap. Now, I'm going to be messing with this. Uh, I'm going to hook it up to a six channel receiver. Um, I have an eight uh, lying around. And uh, what I'll be doing with that is um, I'll probably give everything its own channel, I'll have probably a full flapper on. Who knows? Is that glue? Uh, okay, does this swing have it? Hold on, guys. That wing is good and clean. So what I'm looking at, guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, is the wing's white, but I don't know if you can see that. It's got some dirt or someone spilt their Coke on it. Yeah, it's about the whole front end of the wing right here. Can't, you know, I wonder if that wipes off. Don't know what that is, guys. Hmm? Feels like it's epoxy. This is smooth. And then that's not as smooth. Oh. Not a big deal breaker. I uh, just have to see how it looks like in the sun. You won't really see it in one thing. You got it on one wing only. Hmm. All right. Guess they all can't be perfect, even though we want them to be, right, guys? All right. So this thing is a, two layers. And I think it's going to be like that. We'll go ahead and cut this open. Be careful guys so you guys don't cut into the plane. I don't know how far it's seated back. Oh wow. Got the manual. I'm going to turn it around for you guys. Got the fuselage, rudder, elevated empennage, landing gear. Your bag of tidbits. Yep, looks like all the hardware and everything to go ahead and put everything on. All right. Got your spar. Got your propeller. Your propeller is separate, doesn't come on the plane. We'll check the balancing on that later. Got your rudder. One thing I like about this rudder is on the front, it's plastic right here. And you got brass inserts. It's gonna go ahead and get screwed on down. Ball links on the control surfaces. Aviop Aircraft Husky. The finish on this guy is really good. 
You can still see the foam outlay, but not too much, more on the black. Got your spinner. Your elevator. Now that's a big fat elevator, guys. Looks like it's foam hinges, guys. All right, now to pull this thing out. Look at that, guys. Now that is beefy. Now I, I have read that the edges on the black paint are kind of flaky. I don't know if they fixed that. Uh, stay tuned, I'll let you know how the wear and tear on it is. Uh, from my understanding, you pull this guy back right here, and the front just opens up. Battery, electronics, all your leads and everything are right there. XT60 connector, guys. Man, it's got a lot of room in there. I mean, I can fist the plane. Go ahead and put this back on. Just pops right in. And you got the landing gear, guys. This is a pretty thick gauge. I want to say about three millimeters, maybe, maybe more. guys that'll be later three and a half millimeter guys wire on this landing gear should take some nice punches tires are foam a little on the hard side might bounce on a landing but we'll see Well guys, my first impressions on it is the quality of it, I would say, I mean, I can't tell any difference between the quality of this and my Valiant. Uh, you know, it's painted windshields, painted everything, uh, goes together, all screws, uh, that's a big difference. Um, forest power. I have to find out if there's an optional float kit for this. If there is, guys, let me know if we can use a Super Cub on this or not. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this thing together um, and stay tuned. Hey, guys, welcome back. So I put her together and it took me exactly 31 minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, not that long. Uh, a few pointers I'll go ahead and I'll get to you guys and you guys probably shave about 10 minutes. Um, the rear elevator and the rudder are two separate pieces. You feed the elevator in the rudder and you put it in. There's three screws, three millimeter by 32, one up here and two from here, okay? Get the two from here just started first and you'll have to move this guy around like a half a millimeter for it to perfectly line up with the uh, insert that it has. It has to be almost perfectly straight. Sat there, twisted, twisted. Once I loosened the bottom two up, I got the first one started, then the bottom two, then I finished up this. Perfect, guys. Um, elevator, uh, it's gonna be the second hole from the outside on the servo horn, and they already have the ball link already installed. Same thing on the rudder, second one from the outside. Um, that's what the manual suggests. That's what I'm going to go ahead and start off with. Um, the little antenna bits here. I thought they were glued on. They're not. They're actually the uh, push to slide uh, kind of things. If you're familiar with the ordinance of the flight, which is kind of cool because you could take them off and put them on. Um, you know, I have a feeling if you tip this thing over, these things aren't going to last that long right here. So I'm probably going to fly it on for the maiden. And then I'll probably just leave them off the rest of the time, guys. Um, that'll save you time there on the elevator. Now, one thing I do not like about this design, and I knew before, 
is on the wiring. So you have three wires that come in, one for the power for the lights, uh, one for the aileron, one from the flaps. It comes in through here, outside of the wing, through a little hole that comes inside, and then you link everything in here. Uh, ready to got a quick fix for that, guys. So you got two signal wires, two power wires, and two grounds for your two servos in here, and then two powers and your uh, ground for your LED lights. So let's just go ahead and say one signal, one signal, right? And then the two powers for your servos and a ground. And then your lights can leach off of that. So I'm looking at a little, you know, a small uh, five pin connector, nothing crazy, right here. And then I'll solder the other side. So when I go ahead and put these together, I'll just go ahead and connect that connector and it'll slide right in. I don't have to sit here and mess with uh, disconnecting wires and plugging stuff in. Um, I can see why people don't like that about the plane, but to me, it don't matter. It's something I can do to unwind before I go ahead and I fly. Uh, the prop went on nice, guys. Uh, the fit and finish on this thing, guys, is pretty damn good uh, for the money. Um, I believe that they are $259 right now. With, and I got it with a $30 uh, instant rebate because I pre-ordered it. Man, this thing is huge. Um, and I had some rewards points. So I ended up paying $179 for it shipped, which isn't bad for playing this size. Uh, the landing gear is pretty strong. Um, I don't see it going to want to bounce a lot, but we're going to go ahead and find that out. Um, yeah, guys, you guys can put it together in about 25 minutes. One thing I do like about this uh, landing gear in the rear, the tail on the tail dragger, is they hooked this wire and it just fits in a slot in here into the rudder. You know, and if that ever gets broken, it's going to be very easy to fix. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing set up. Hopefully today, um, and uh, hopefully made it tomorrow, if not Wednesday. Um, yeah. Putting it together guys, four screws hold on the wing, plus two screws for the braces, right? Plus feeding that through. No gluing on this plane, which is great. But yeah, if you don't have a, uh, a pickup truck that you could put this in, or a nice sized SUV, which uh, it's gonna go in the wife's tomorrow because I'm not gonna dismantle it. And uh, you can go ahead and take it apart. Uh, to put it together, it's gonna take you about Five, ten minutes, guys. But uh, not bad for a soul plane, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. What? Stop asking me questions about that thing, guys. You guys can't handle that right now. Uh, I can't handle it right now, to tell you the truth. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Noon's out. Awesome.